Okay. Our trainer of the day is past district director. He's a doctor by profession, though he's a trainer by passion. He loves helping people out. He's a certified coach and certified trainer as well. Let's give him a big round of virtual upload and help me welcome our trainer of the DDM, Dr. Hamad Mahlouf. The floor is yours. Thank you so much, DTM of Salman, our president, fellow Toastmasters, and dear trainers. Good evening. Each one by his name, Najwa, Kajetin, Raymond, Arij, and Dr. Fatma. Uh, it's Good my evening. pleasure to be part of this mission of uh, conducting Train the Trainer, especially for our trainers here. And today, my part is a continuation to what my colleague DTM Hazem started uh, one month back. He started to plan the training. And today I will talk about how to prepare for the training. We finished last time uh, planning for the lesson plan and documents, everything about the knowledge part. Now we will start adding on this part, the rest of the things. Uh, I am Dr. Mohamed Makhlouf, as DTM Wafa introduced me, certified coach from ICF, certified trainer from uh, UK, and distinguished Toastmasters, past district director. And these are my social media, if anybody wants to contact me for any question or for the material. Uh, again, DTM Wafa already mentioned about the ground rules, so I will not repeat them again. But keep in mind, we are few in number and you can open your mic anytime to ask questions, to participate, or you can use the uh, chat box for any questions or for any participation. Um, I think for this few number, no need to raise your hand. We can start talking directly from your mic. I hope this will not affect others. I can see all of you. Today, we will speak about few objectives, and I hope we will achieve them all at the end of the session. First, we will speak about how to choose and to prepare for activities, then the games, the values, the types, and how to add them to your material. And when there is something wrong, what you will do if your game or if your activity didn't work? how to properly use visual aids, and how to create the supporting materials. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun way. I'm sure everybody knows about it because all of us are certified trainers, but I will work as a reminder uh, for you to improve the skills that you already have. Thank you. Thank you, Arij. Okay. Uh, I want to ask you first a simple question. And please write on the chat box. What is the color of your house, flat, apartment? Okay, I'm so happy. What happened now? What happened exactly? All your mind was concentrated only on that question. And to answer this question, your mind was working only for this answer because our minds cannot do two things at the same time, only one thing per time. So, the, the answer was taking all your mind. And this is the beauty of asking questions and allow people to participate in your session. Allowing participation and asking questions other than lecturing 
will do that exactly. We'll make them concentrate, we'll make them participate, and participation will make your mind do that thing later on because it will keep focusing your mind on that topic and he will do it in any time later on. That happens, uh, they discovered that in many research work. So doing an activities or preparing activities is the best way to train adults. And this one of the more major principles of adults training to make them participate. I saw the smile on the face of Wafa. Do you remember this uh, speaker to trainer session? Majority of us were there. Yes, yes, Ray. We missed you, Kajetan, in this training session. Dr. Fatma was there. Uh, Arij, I think she was here or in another one. Yeah. So I want to divide you in two breakout rooms. And here I have 10 types of activities, different types of activities. As mentioned the, down, this is the best way to engage learners, learners and help them remember and understand information and to uh, actively allow them to participate in the training session. Okay, so I want to both of you to divide it into two groups. Each group will take five types of activities. I want you just to tell me after that when we should use this activity and how can we use it. Just a brief about the activity and when we can use it. And I will send now in the chat box. Can you please take a screenshot for this uh, activity? Najwa, are you with us? Dr. Fatma? Yes, I'm with you. Okay, so yes, we will take a screenshot from these. I took, I took And yeah. randomly, thank you, Najwa. And randomly, we will be divided into two groups, three in each group. And accordingly, we will start working on this mission. When we use this and the brief about it. And to help you doing that, I will now uh, put in the chat box a document which includes majority of the things that we will do today. easily in the BDF you will find all these kinds of activities you can just brief me when we can use it and how we can use it in brief for each of the five types that recommended for you uh, one uh, breakout room number one will be group one Breakout room number two will be group B. So group A, breakout room number one. Group B, breakout. No. Great. I hope we had enough time for all of us, for both groups to uh, prepare for the five types of activities they had. Uh, who will present for the first group? I think we are waiting for Wafa and Najwa. I, I am available. Okay, great. Wafa as well. Okay, so uh, let's start. Who will present for the group A? Well, I have, I, I had, <laughs> I had written the notes, so I might as well read them out. So and we, we asked can about, comment on that, no problem. Yeah, we have put our own spin on it uh, wherever we could. Uh, we just didn't copy paste, but we did discuss about it. So we had five activities. One was quizzes and asking questions. And uh, so 
what we have noted is that if you want to do this activity, keep it simple, make it easy, don't make it like a test. All right. And then when do we use it? We use it basically to check the understanding of the participants. And as Dr. Fatma said, we can also use it at the beginning to understand their levels and accordingly adjust your training. You know, so you could ask them some quizzes that will give you an idea where they stand. So this is a good activity to do at the beginning. Yes. The second one was problem solving activities and when to use the problem solving. It is useful when you want to encourage creativity or for practical topics that require, you know, hands-on involvement. So that's about problem solving. Buzz groups, this is something new to me. And uh, Dr. Fatma said that they do it in school. And I, I have never actually done a buzz group where you divide the entire class into two or three people max. And you pose a problem or a question to them. And the word buzz comes because you'll hear the buzzing because everyone exactly. is uh, speaking in small, small, little volume. But overall, it will make like a big buzz. Uh, and I can understand it. I can imagine it. Uh, but I have never done it. So it would be interesting to see how it works in real life. Sometimes I Gaffey, to apply this. we are using this in the uh, physically. Each table will work together. So yeah. if we have five tables, there will be a lot of buzz. Yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah, I can, in, I can in, imagine it. And uh, exactly. but I would, uh, I've never done it, uh, but I can see how it will work. The fourth was brainstorming where you want to oh, wait. get as many there ideas as possible. Beside the buzz. Ah, snowballing. Yes. Now, maybe, maybe because it sort of keeps uh, the buzz into yes. a snowball. You start with two, three in each group. Now you merge each two groups together. Then you have only two groups. Then the okay. big two groups will present again. So okay. you are upgrading them as a, a follow-up or feedback from the first groups. So each two groups together will give feedback about the first two groups, then the one above. And that's how we build the snowball. Interesting. The fourth activity was brainstorming when you want to get as many ideas as possible. And this is something we do all the time. I, I'm used to it where... We sort of uh, throw the idea and collect, start collecting ideas. Uh, don't worry whether they are good or bad, just collect them. And so you just brainstorm, get all the collective uh, knowledge from the entire group, you know. And so they come up with their own solutions before you explain the topic to them. So they have already talked about their ideas. And then you tell them this is the topic and you already find that 80% there is a fit and then you try to fill in the 20%. That's how training should be. And so this is a good activity to do in a training program. And finally, discussion and group learning is uh, useful when you want participants to reflect at the end, especially when you deliver the training uh, uh, in depth for topics that in, in, uh, let's say involve attitudes and awareness rather than factual information. And, and especially we do that when we have a case study, we discuss the case and then you have a discussion about it. And some of it is quite subjective because you have to interpret the facts, you have to uh, derive uh, your own conclusions. So that's the activity we normally do after, you know, at the end of a segment, we sit and we discuss and make sure everyone is aligned. So that was our presentation, uh, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Kajetan. Well done. Well done, Group A. Uh, for the discussion, it's not only in the case studies. Sometimes I'm doing group discussions in the definition of the things itself. Uh, they will choose the, the most important words and start discussing the importance of each word and how it reflects on the definition. So discussion can be done anywhere according to the situation. Well done. Well done, Group A. Let's hear from Group B. Well, I was doing the writing, so I okay, got okay. forward. Now we chose the, the four areas that we looked into, which is debate, case study, role play, and training games. Now taking the first one, which is debate. A debate concept was- There when was topic five points today. Five? We were told four. Five, presentation. 
You can speak about that. Okay. I, I will put the slide. Okay, <laughs> after finishing, no problem. Yes, no problem. So we're looking at debate. In debate, a, topic, a particular topic is chosen, particularly when your audience is split, where we have an audience where they agree to the topic or for the topic, and a part of that audience is not agreeing with the topic. So you put them into a debate and you have a discussion come out for and not for the situation and make them active over there. And this is how this works especially well when you have controversial topics and topics which will entice them to speak up or entice them to use their feelings and emotions and even to cater into their knowledge on that topic. Second area was the case study. In a case study, we have a study chosen which is relevant to the training that we are doing or to the topic that we have. We do this because we want to see how a company and or an organization or an individual actually handled that scenario, that situation in the past. So we learn from that. And how do we implement this? It could be through PowerPoint, through visual presentation, especially for visual learners. They can see, they can understand the statistics. There's a lot of information given about that particular case study. So we have a trusted case study which defines how the training should go. We looked at role play where we give two or more people scripts where they emulate the role or simulate the role. And this is done for like trainings in call center, in sales and in interviewing skills where we practice coaching. what we have learned. In coaching as well, yes, very yes. much. Where we practice what we have learned and we see how the impact is. Then in training games, there are many multiple types of training games. We have training games like energizers. We have training games which has meanings and learnings where we do energizers like after lunch where people are tired and lazy or want to rest. Or when you have long boring sessions and you want people to, be li to liven up, to get alert and to bring their attention span again. And we have games in training where you implement what you are teaching through a game as well. Now, when it comes through presentations, presentations is mostly works for the kinesthetic learners where you want to make them feel, when you want them to learn, to see, to get them involved with all aspects where talking, hearing, listening, feeling, touching. And that's when you do presentation type of learning material. And this way you cater to a bigger audience or to the entire audience itself. Perfect. Perfect. Well done. Well done, Group B. Amazing. So we discussed 10 types of uh, activities. I want each one of you to give me one more activity that we didn't mention in this group. Do you have any kind of activity that we didn't mention in this group? Icebreaker, I think I didn't see that. Icebreaker comes under the games. Icebreakers and energizers. Great. So we covered majority of types of activities that we can add in any of the training sessions. Uh, I was thinking that uh, Kajetan may say uh, hands on when we are doing like uh, a training on OBS or training on some technical things that needs uh, working with, with your hands. What do you think Kajetan? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, could be. I meant to say, yeah, why not? So great. Let's move on. Games, I love this. Do you remember how many games we did 
in uh, in uh, the train the trainer when we were there a lot of games and i have the first type of games are the icebreakers and these are five types of icebreakers and we are only here six as I, uh, as i'm seeing i want two to volunteer each one will choose one of these pictures and he will play with us this game. Uh, first of all, let's understand why we are using the icebreaker. Of course, Arij. Icebreaker encourage trainees to participate from the start of the session. This will allow them to feel comfortable, easily working with each other, we will have time for those who are coming late to join without missing any of the main topics. And really, it will break the ice for the full three, four, five days you are doing your training session. So, uh, Arij, you will start. Please open yes. the PDF. Choose mm -hmm. one of the pictures. Which one do you do you uh, do you like where is the pdf you send it here i send it even in the group oh, the, oh, okay. okay so which picture do you choose first uh wait wait where is the pictures your doctor okay it's, it's here in the no. presentation where i can from mobile uh, from this picture? Yes. I don't understand. This Where boy is, is one picture. The other one with the mobile oh, is one okay. picture. Just one word is one picture. And the rocket okay. is another picture. Okay. Uh, the one with the mobile? Okay. The one with the mobile. So you will choose. Take a picture. Okay. From the BDF. Take a picture from the BDF. There is 21 types of icebreakers. Take a picture or something. Okay. Are you ready? I Before should... starting, okay. try to keep your participants engaged. Reflect the principles of adult learning. They are not kids. And lastly, brief the group on every exercise before starting. So try to brief us what we will do immediately before doing it. So what we will do according to your icebreaker. The, one second. Take your time. Can I just read what it says? Yes, and then... yes, you have 30 seconds to read. Okay. Who wants to take the chance after a reach? So we, he will be prepared. Wafa, wow. Okay, which picture, Wafa? Okay. <clears throat> I want the astronaut. Uh, the boy? Mm. So it's the childhood memories. Okay. So please read the childhood memories in the PDF and be ready for your icebreaker. Okay. Arij, are you okay. ready now? Just, uh, doctor, just to make sure that I, I understood it correctly. Now, I will ask the people here to take picture of something specific. You explain to us, and if there is any problem, we will clarify from you. Okay. Yes, so I will stop sharing. And Arij is our training now, and she will start her icebreaker now. 
Good evening, everyone. I hope you're doing great time. I want you all to start taking, I want you all to take one picture and if you can send it on the chat or share it with, the, uh, with us. And each one should take a picture for the, the book that's next to you right now. And send it here so we can discuss and see what you, why do you have these books next to you? Where to send it, Arij? Here, can, can the participant like by one, one by one share their picture or screen here? What do you think or if shall... we send it to WhatsApp group? Is it yeah, easier okay. for all of us? I don't know. Uh, I wish uh, everyone, can you please take a picture of the book that's next to you right now? Don't go and look for one. The book that's next to you, just take a picture of it and send it on the WhatsApp group. Can you do that? Everyone? Done. I did it. Done from Dr. Makhlouf. I don't have okay. a mobile right now. You don't have a mobile? Okay. It's kept for charging in another room. Let me do something else, mm -hmm. hold on. So Kajitin finished, Wafa finished, myself. <laughs> Najwa, where is your book? Dr. Fatma. Dr. Fatma, Najwa, okay. I, 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 took the, I took the picture, but mm. I'm connecting on the other phone, so it's not added. No, I, I, no, no, I, can you send it on the WhatsApp group? Yeah, yeah, hold on a sec. Okay. Dr. Fatma, are you there? Raymond, did you figure it out? Dr. Mahlouf, am I doing good because... You are doing great. You are okay, doing I great. Sent, I sent something, somehow. It's something, somehow. Yes. Okay. Fatma, okay. Abdul sent already. Ray yes. sent. <laughs> Raymond. <laughs> okay. And Najwa as well. Wow. Okay. You are doing great, Ari. Continue. Okay, so this is really good. I love that everyone sent the book that's next to, to you right now. I know that maybe this these books will not tell us about you 100%, but maybe one question I can ask to each one of you that you can tell me exactly how did this book benefit, benefit, صح the word? Yes. Benefit you in your life or career or like, for example, Kajitan, you have shared the CC manual, or this is the leadership, no, this is the CC speech, but speeches by management, <laughs> the Toastmasters manual. So how did this book benefit you in your life? Like, duh, but... <laughs> I don't know what, whether it benefits, but I'm using it as a backdrop in my scene. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so we can tell that the Toastmasters manuals are used to be the background for cash. Oh, okay. <laughs> and now it's gone. <laughs> okay, thank you, Kajitan. Okay, let's go to Think and Grow Rich. Dr. Fatma, are you rich right now? <laughs> can you give me some money? <laughs> I'm so rich, alhamdulillah. So rich. <laughs> <laughs> More than you can imagine. <laughs> so how did this book help you? Uh, honestly speaking, this is not my book, but uh, I uh, borrowed that book from one of our friends uh, to read it, and uh, I haven't started yet. Oh, okay, nice. When you finish it, just let me know what exactly I need to do to be rich like you, <laughs> and then we will be equal. <laughs> so let's go to Wafa. Wafa, you send something about functional areas, zero one talent. Blah, blah, blah. It's, yeah, unit one. It's, it's unit one from uh, HRCI uh, book, and I'm it's five, it's six units, and 
I'm preparing for the H uh, PHR exam and I have it on 25 May. So I'm studying and all the units are on my table and wish me luck. Good luck, good luck. And uh, uh, thank God I'm not you, but uh, this is great. <laughs> I wish you all the best. And now Dr. Maflouf, Mita, NLB, this is uh, like, can you tell me? Actually, I was against neurolinguistics programming or in Arabic, but after taking it from this level and from this point of view, I am now uh, attached to it. And I'm doing uh, every day uh, a video for about two minutes, speaking about one point in the NLB presuppositions from practical point of view. And it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's a really uh, a huge uh, experience added to my life. Well, this is awesome, doctor. And now I can know, I know who to go to when I will lose my nerves. So this is great. Thank you. And then we have uh, Najwa. Yes. Workbook five, Colleen's <laughs> International. Can you tell me more about this? I, I, I didn't want to read the word math, but it's okay. So <laughs> can you tell us more about it? Yeah, as usual, as you know that I have uh, Christina and she's in year uh, five. And this is mm -hmm. the math workbook that we uh, usually work on it and practice math. And based on that, uh, what's uh, the benefit of this book? For sure, it refreshes my, um, my memory and uh, yeah, encourage me to uh, um, love math more. I hate math, <laughs> to love it more <laughs> by default. <laughs> Yeah, so later on, when, yeah. when you will see numbers, you will not be scared or anything. No, right? no, at all. I wish the numbers come to my ba bank. That's what when Ooh, I, study, uh, I, yeah. wish, I make <laughs> this, this way. <laughs> uh, after we take the information from Dr. Fatma, all we'll to come to my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Without the subtraction, and... of course, multiplication only. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Now okay, I will move to Raymond. Raymond, if this is an agenda or notebook, 2021, it is a calendar, I think. It's a journal, so, basically. Uh, so what is the most important thing you have recorded on that one? My daily life. Five oh. great things that happened today and five great, not so great things that happened today. And I use this basically to help me with my speeches with my skills, with my areas that I need to improve on, areas that I do not have control that I cannot improve on, but at least control myself that not to get worried about. So I started this in January, though I have missed one or two days here and there, but I'm still making it a habit to continue journaling. So this is a great thing that has happened to me this year. And it has really, really helped me, not only in my speaking as Toastmaster, but even as a trainer of whatever I've experienced, they become my stories to tell during my trainings. So this is this a is very a valuable great. book. Thank you and so much. Raymond. Just next to me, wherever I go. And this is awesome. I love this idea. Maybe one day I will do like you. So now we have seen that uh, Kajitan with his Toastmasters background books that uh, help people to look at his background and be inspired even if he don't open it, but we are inspired to open Toastmasters uh, manuals. We have uh, Dr. Fatma who will soon become rich with her uh, book and Wafa is studying all this uh, things that she is working on. We wish you all the best and good luck, Dr. Makhlouf. Learning about the NLB and um, one day he will help me to work on my nerves and <laughs> and for uh, Najwa to have more uh, numbers in her bank account. This was great as well. <laughs> and in the end, Raymond, you have showed to us that how important to record every day our main important things that we want to do or we have gone through, I think, in our life. 
for me before I end up this session, after we came to know all of you and enjoyed, I want to tell you that I asked you to do that because I don't have any book next to me. And the only book that you can find next to me is coloring book because I'm a person who likes to color and draw things. So reading is not my thing, <laughs> but coloring and uh, drawing is my thing. So with that, I believe that we all are doing great here and I will retain back the screen to our trainer, Dr. Mohamed Maslow. Thank well you. done, Arid. Well done. Amazing. Amazing. I loved it. Huh? Yeah. How do you feel now after finishing? Like, I, <laughs> I don't know if I did fine and this is what was asked. I don't know, but uh, I feel that like even out of nothing, we can make uh, a, a, a nice uh, icebreaker uh, game and uh, uh, a fun activities that everyone will be involved and engaged like I, I, I think that everyone I, I, I wish that everyone enjoyed even Kajitan with his background like, yes, everybody engaged <laughs> I could see his smile, everybody you know? enjoyed and above all that we accidentally knows uh, something new about each one of us Despite yes. we are close friends, we are in the same club for a long time, but we start knowing something different. And we will know something more about each other by the activity of Wafa. Wafa, Yay. <laughs> in three minutes, please. Okay. Now, uh, uh, no need to engage everybody. Choose one or two. I will, I will engage as much as I can. Uh, we will now, I want to know something in your childhood dream, a picture, something in Google, go and search for something in your childhood dream. And what I want to uh, ignite out from that is how your goal, when you see a dream and what is happened now, are you away from your dream? Are you near your dream? When you have the picture, what I want you to do is, I will share something with you. I share it on the... I shared it on the chat box. And what I want you to do is when you share that, when you have a picture of your childhood, there is a plus sign on this board. So what I want you to do is I will share one to tell you how to do it. So I will click on the plus and then click on the picture and I will allow and go for this close. I will go with upload. Well, this can be done from mobile? Yes. You can just yeah. upload and it will be uploaded. I'll go for pictures and I want to share with you one picture that is done. This is the picture. Uh, this picture, it, uh, the, the green board and the chalks that was a dream for me to be a teacher. And I was a teacher at Lycée National in Bakata and I was teaching math for grade four. And this dream for me, it's uh, being a teacher is a dream and it's a goal and I'm with that dream. So what I want you to do now is I want each one of you from his side to just put a picture by going with the files on the three dots adding a file and uh, add a picture that you want. And, and by that, Kajetan, wow. Okay, now we'll talk about it. Let's see from each one of you, uh, what picture you will add on this board. And so you can see each one, what he or she is adding. <laughs> oh, anonymous, huh? Okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay, keep on adding and let's start by the car. Kajitan, can you tell me what was the dream and what was the goal and how you are away or uh, uh, with or with? Near or yeah. far from your goal. So this is something I distinctly remember when I was in school. Of course, at that time, 
cars were something of a rarity in Goa and we couldn't think of owning a car. And I remember going to my sister's sports day. Uh, it was a, like a school sports day. And on the way back, the doc, the, one of the, uh, my sister's friends, father offered us to drop uh, in his car. And I was sitting in a car, something like that. And I was saying, wow, people can afford a car. What would it be to own a car one day? And so that's a memory I recollect very distinctly. Wow, wow. Uh, Arish, can you tell me about your picture? For all those time you stood oh by me. <laughs> so I used, I love Celine Dion. I wanted to be a singer, but unfortunately because of like family values and like, come on, you need to lose weight and these things that that stopped that dream. Like they told me, you cannot be a singer. Your voice is not nice. Although I know it, it is good. <laughs> but uh, this was one of my dream. And I, it was all because of her, because of Celine Dion. Her Thank voice you. is a legend. Thank you, Arif. Thank you, Arif. Raymond, what about the grass? Okay, for me, I... As a child, I was actually born and brought up in Kuwait and all I saw was concrete walls and desert. But when the war happened in the year 1990s, I was in India and I was introduced for the first time to paddy fields, basically rice plantations. And my mom used to grow a lot of rice and still grows till today. And I had this wish that I want to be a farmer. I want to be a farmer. I want to grow, produce mm -hmm. organic, basically work in the fields, carry those heavy things on it. So basically organic food, work out, fresh air, live life to the, you know, in Goa, as Kajitan knows, we live, take life easy. Or we say, Susegad in Konkani, we take it. Why should we worry? But then I was faced with this problem where they would say that farming does not give you enough money or farming is not a profession, or farming is just something you do as a pastime and not as a commercial activity or just to grow for your home. But I would always want to be a farmer. Even that's where I'm heading, that even though I'm an IT professional, I'm heading in the direction where I would have automated farming or mechanized farming. And that is something that I wanted. And that's where I want to head to. Thank you, Raymond. Uh, doctor, your dream to be a doctor? No, a uh, heart surgeon or cardiothoracic okay. surgeon. But um, unfortunately, I didn't get the qualified uh, score for that. I missed it by one point. Oh, That's okay. why I became oral surgeon instead of cardiothoracic surgeon. <laughs> okay. And Desert Factory, I don't know who's she. But uh, Desert Factory, who's this guy, uh, this girl? I think Dr. Fatma. Yes, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us, tell us about your childhood dream. Uh, actually, it's not only my childhood dream, but I still dreaming uh, of this uh, thing because I really want to have or to 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 have or to get a dessert factory one day because I love making desserts and. Uh, Unfortunately, working as a teacher or as an educator doesn't let you do anything else with educating. So I wish after retiring, inshallah, I will achieve and realize my dream, inshallah. Well done. And Najwa, what about your childhood memory? Well, uh, one of my dreams is to ride a uh, Harley uh, bike and... Um, it didn't come true unless I get married and my husband uh, bought this bike. And uh, yeah, I ride uh, behind him, of course. I didn't ride it myself. <laughs> it was too big. I was shorter than the bike itself. But at least uh, a majority of this dream come true. <laughs> Thank super, you. Super. I'm so happy and I like your dreams that we stop sharing. And to summarize, you see that when you have a childhood memory, and you notice yourself when you are talking about it. You talk from your heart. Your eyes sparkle. Your voice was different. 
and you were very energetic to share something dear to you. It was in the childhood and either implemented or not. Thank you very much for this participating and for sharing precious memories and precious dream. Back to you, trainer. Thank you so much, DTM of Salman. And this is the beauty of icebreaker. I will not add anything more. You feel you felt it by yourself. Please don't miss to do a good icebreaker at the beginning of your session. Let's return back to our presentation and let's move on. Now we can enumerate a lot of values of games. Now games are icebreakers. Let's, let's enumerate games on the chat box. How many games came to your mind, types of games? Types of games. Yes. No, I need one. No, give me names. I'm sorry. Names. So we had icebreaker. What else? Energizer, second. What else? Third. Team building games, yes. Timed games, team activities, puzzles, and the one you brought, uh, Kajetan, in the train the trainer, you remember? They uh, built uh, these uh, blocks. I have them. I, I keep them. I brought two <laughs> after your game. Okay, great. So there is a lot. Treasure hunt, yes, of course. Realistic war, uh, yes, bent bold. <laughs> yes, there is a lot. So, keeps the day moving and keep the energy of the uh, training high, always. Fun helps to bring people together and break down the barriers between people. Endorphin release the laughter and it's very healthy to have a lot of endorphins, which is the, uh, they are calling the endorphins is the love hormone or the happiness hormone. So having this in the uh, training session is very good. Improve retention of material. A lot of things when we are doing it through a game, this improves a lot of principles that we want to build in the trainees appeals to learns who enjoy activity. We know the quote of uh, uh, Toastmasters, we are learning the best in the moments of enjoyment. What if, what if the activity or the game you are doing didn't went well? Give me reasons why, no, <laughs> don't cry at it, please. <laughs> why the game can go wrong. Reasons. I will give you number one. Maybe, can I answer, doctor? Yes, please, doctor. Maybe uh, there was no clear instructions at the beginning, so maybe... Yes. No clear instructions at the beginning. That's why I insist at the beginning to clarify the purpose and the procedures, the, the steps that the participants will do. Thank you, Dr. Fatma. Who's, who knows one else? Wafa. Raymond said in hand. the chat. Raymond sent oh, okay. in the chat. Okay. I said over excitement and sometimes things go. Yeah, the game is yes. so cool that people are so excited. You cannot control that the team. Cannot control them. It yes. happened to me. Yes. <laughs> the game is not fit for the audience, as I mentioned. Maybe you chose exactly. Them. Yes. And sometimes they know the game. What else? 
uh, sometimes the, 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 t the members, they don't have the energy and they don't want to play. And, yep. if, and by this, they are not playing from their hearts and it will not work. It will go wrong. Yes. yes. Also, sometimes they already know each other from the beginning. So doing an icebreaker to know each other and be already with each other from long time back, it will make nonsense, I mean. So doing the new things like pictures or books or something new, that will help a lot. Ego, yes. Especially in, um, in high, -ranky, high ranking uh, people. But from my experience, the high ranking are the easiest to do the games because they want to go outside their comfort zone. They want to go no, actually, outside the atmosphere of work. Actually, I don't look at it from the high rank. Yeah. I look at it from the low rank. If you merge them together, sometimes I've seen in one of my activities that the people under the managers, like they don't want to win over the managers. So they want to like, no, 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 let him do his part. You know, it's okay. I, I've seen that very common and I try yes. to like, it's okay, we are all one, we are equal, we are not managers or subordinates or so on. Absolutely, Ray. absolutely happens. That's why it's not right to have the managers and the employees at the same training session because they will not give you what you want from them. They will not participate a lot. They will not answer from their mind. They will not give ideas because they are afraid that this may be upsetting one of the managers or something. So knowing your audience is very, very important. So first, don't select activities that would annoy you if you were participating. This is very important. Put yourself in the shoe. Adjust the length and type of activity to suit the length and the type of the material and the session you are giving. It's not about doing activities or doing games. It should be related to what you are giving. This is very, very important. Always know your audience, as Raymond told us now. The content of the workshop needs to be considered also. So how much you will give and how much space you will give for the activities. This is very important also. People who know each other very well will find some exercises redundant. Exactly. So what to do if something went wrong? Very simple, keep confident, excuse to them and continue. That's it. Don't cry like Arij said. <laughs> so I have to apologize to everyone that game has worked for me before. It worked a lot of times before, but today it didn't uh, give us what we need. So that's it. And continue. They will not remember at the end that one of the games didn't work. So don't put that in your mind and don't lose your temper. And don't take a lot of time trying to prepare or fix the things. Or you can give them a break extra five minutes break, they can go to take something hot or go into the bathroom and come back while you are fixing the things, if it is very important to have this game. Okay, now let's move on to the visual aids. There is many types of visual aids. And I have put in the PDF for each of the types, one example. Please open the PDF in front of you and follow up with me. Educational posters. It's very, very important to have such educational posters hanging on the walls as a reminder for the trainees during the session. We used to have that even written or uh, drawn by the trainees themselves. And this is one of the activities that we missed at the beginning, to let the trainee draw a picture of the types or of the definition or of the uh, something they are learning. 
so they can draw a picture of it and hanging it on the walls or doing an exercise on the wallpaper and again put it on the walls but don't use solitaire please use the blue tag so you can easily remove it without damaging the wall this is very important from best practice point of view so you have an example of it can anybody tell me what is the example in the bdf open your mic Uh, there is infographics. Uh, no, the one before the infographic. Uh, it is says study tips. Uh, huh? Educational posters. Same thing. What it is, is on the? It's a book, and what are the things that they will learn from that book? Exactly, <laughs> and there is another one beside it, uh, which is the visual kinesthetic and. Uh, yes, yes, it's it's the three kinds of learning, three types of learning, uh, visual, auditory, and kinesthetics, right? Okay, next. Excuse me, but from where you are reading, where, the, where is the PDF? It's in the group, uh, Najwa. I send it in the WhatsApp group. Uh, previously. Yeah, and, it's and also it's uh, it's in the chat box as you like okay you i got it either got from it. the chat box uh, out, or of, from the out of 30 pages got it thank you yes also a uh, you send it okay next uh sorry kajetan you are absolutely right uh educational infogram after the educational posters. Yes. What infograph is there? Uh, social media technology. Teens. Yes. The hazards and the effects of social media on teenagers. So putting or hanging something like that will collect the data in one place and having it like pictures. This will help a lot the trainees to keep in front of themselves what is going on in the educational session. Like now in COVID, they are putting how, how to clean your hand, uh, to wear a mask, to stay beside. So they are making it as uh, infographics as well. Infographic. Distributing it. Yes, exactly. Okay. Now we have creative presentations. Uh, I think we are, uh, can we divide it again into breakout rooms? Our time is uh, almost over, doctor. So, okay, maybe no ten, problem. Five, ten minutes. Okay. More. I already put 10 or 11 points you should consider while you are having, doing your presentation. And there is a lot of templates either free on the website, like my template that I'm using today, or you can use Canva. There is a lot of creative presentations in Canva itself. You can use it also, but try to do something attractive for the attendees because many of them will be visual. They need alert and also for the kinesthetics. They need something uh, that have an effect on their mind. So always keep all engaged by your voice, voice modulation for the auditory and visual for this and kinesthetic games and activities. And the BDF as I'm showing now. Educational charts. Uh, who can give me a read? What is the educational chart that we have in the BDF? Um, one second. And the BDF is on page 21. Yes. What is Najwa? What is it? Me or Adish? Anyway, uh, it is you, the, you, you. The, leader, the leadership pyramid. 
the, the learning the pyramid. Learning pyramid. Yes. Learn, we yeah, choose what, Najwa. We choose that if we have We have teaching, lecture, uh, we have, yeah, lecture, we have 5%. 5% only. Retention, yeah. Retention, while if we have practice Reading. on doing or teaching others, we will have 90%. 90%. Retention. So please yes. keep this always in your mind. Thank you so much, Arij and Najwa. Thank you. Welcome. And the last thing is the white paper. Or, uh, sorry, the whiteboard or the flip chart. And we need to start using properly the whiteboard. There is a lot now of interactive whiteboards. We can add them to the Zoom meeting a lot on the internet. And this can act exactly like what we are using in the uh, uh, flip chart at the meeting, at the physical session, which is very important. I already put uh, a few points you should consider while you are using the flip chart and whiteboard, we need to do a special training session for using the white, the online whiteboard. It's very, very useful. We will do something like that in one of the training sessions, inshallah. Uh, anybody has experience of using whiteboard, the uh, online whiteboard? I did. Yeah. Me, I you did. did. Okay. I did through my iPad and a pen. I shared it through that. It's easier than uh, drawing with a mouse uh, on the computer. Exactly. Yeah, mouse correct. and computer, it's very difficult. But using the iPad and the new uh, pin in the iPad will do a lot of easy work. True. I use a tablet. A ah, tablet. yes. Same. iPad or tablets, all other things. Okay. We have a video of less than 30 seconds. What I need from you to tell me what is the mistakes that I have done in this video. Are we ready? Thumb up if we are ready. Najwa, Dr. Fatma, where are you? I know Arij has already put thumb up. Okay. Okay, who want to start? Each one give me one uh, mistake. Yes, Doctor. Uh, yes, Diti Um The video has got uh, Arabic words and the audience are mixed. Excellent. Again, what else? What is the other mistake? The title was not relevant. Which is not relevant to exactly. the exactly. Uh, okay, what else? But can we explain it in English so that the other people can understand what happened? No, idea is to get the mistakes, not to understand what is in the video. Okay, this okay, go. yesterday. Can you go ahead? Me, I, I no, I couldn't uh, because I was trying to figure out what it is, and Wafa has already mentioned that uh, it was 
not targeted at me because it was in Arabic. I didn't know what's happening. Um, the video itself uh, it seems to be a lesson for us. It's, I don't see it as a mistake of uh, exploring and uh, in this case, uh, meeting with an accident. Uh, so it is not an accident. This is the issue. Not accident. I mean, because you, it's you, in Arabic, you, so he didn't get the exactly, idea. Exactly. That that's yeah. what I'm telling to everybody. Don't use English videos for Arabs or Arabic videos for English. Yes, Ray. Thank you, Kajitan. Thank you so much. Yes, Ray. Well, I looked at it from a design perspective. Yes. And in the design perspective, the first slide by itself had too many characters which had no resemblance to the video. Like you had pigeons and I had no idea why they were flying. And so you kind of got me excited. I'm going to see some birds. And uh, where's the birds gone? Like no birds. Okay. So you kind of, your message itself was getting me excited. And then I was disappointed for not finding any birds. That's one. Two, uh, in the design itself, you had cluttered the video. So you kind of got distracted on what's really happening. You had words on the, on the ox itself. And because he had also another reason, of course, is a bit cheating over here. I know the original video, which does not have words. It has images of what the, of the ox is thinking, which is more kinesthetic than me reading the words itself. So that is uh, from a, from a very emotional or very feeling point of view. Perfect. Those are the video Perfect. Videos. Anybody want to add anything for this video as a mistake? Can I just explain yes. to Kedjipin? Please. No, because it's in Arabic and I feel bad. <laughs> so it, it's about like... Uh, con um, to convince other with your point of view. So this one, he was telling him that this is a tree and the other one, he's saying, no, this is alligator. But the other one insisted to tell him, no, this is a tree. And then it was an alligator and he eat, ate him, I believe. And it says that you don't need to convince people with your point of view. You just uh, say it and don't uh, try to prove it. So you will be dead. <laughs> something like that even the final message wasn't good then yeah i even know the final message wasn't good if we cut ray if we cut the first part where there is a lot of words and the final part slide where the this message at the end and keep only the animated part this will help a little yes of course very much it and gives that's us what i did Okay. Exactly. I used the same video yesterday in the persuasion. Uh, I gave a persuasion a session about uh, skills of persuasion. And I used the same video cutting the first part and the last part where there is a lot of words and animation, which is not relevant. And it was very good. They loved the video. Do you know why so, the reason, the reason at least to what I feel, sorry, doctor, is that when you don't have your own words, you are allowing the audience to make up their own story in their mind. And then you have a chance to come later and correct it. But here you're forcing them, this is what you have to do. That's it. So there is a resistance to learn at this moment. Thank you. You say it all. Thank you. Creating the supporting material. This is our last point for tonight. And with that, we will cover everything. As you, as we all saw what happened from the beginning of the session till now, this is how you can incorporate activities, games, icebreakers, whatever you want to incorporate. Put it under the topic and use the topic itself as a game or create a game from your topic or from the knowledge you are giving. You have a lot of activities. Choose the activity you want and accommodate and accustom it to fix the knowledge you want to give, the skill you want to train upon. And that's what I did. If you notice, I am, 
I didn't speak a lot. I didn't do nearly any exercise. You are the one who did everything from the beginning till now. So, creating a supporting material, what materials do we need for the training? Tell me, write in the chat or you can open the mic and tell me, what material do we need? My daughter's toys. Uh, stories. Toys, toys. Toys, toys. yes, of course, yes. <laughs> Toys? Okay. For games, you mean? Yes, for games. Okay, sure. No, first thing we have to have at the beginning of any training session, there is a paper we should distribute for all the trainees, two papers. One paper will move between them and the other paper will be on the table when they are sitting. What is these two papers? Attendance. Huh? Attendance? Yes, agenda. attendance, sign-in sheet, and the agenda. This is very important, agenda and sign-in sheets. Or you can tell them at the beginning when they will take the break and when we will finish. This is very, very important. Tell them we will finish at 3 p.m. and we will have two uh, break, breaks. One is lunch break or brain break at 12 and the other is at 1.30 or 2. You have to tell them when they will take the breaks. Of course, your guide, what you will say and when and what activity you will give. If there is five days training, you will never remember when you will do everything. Wafa can tell us more about the leader's guide. Yes, uh, by that you will distribute um, the document with uh, what they have to do. And uh, for example, in, in, in one of the training, which is uh, regarding high field, there is, a, there is a leader guide and how you're gonna use this manual or how you will use uh, this uh, document that you are using. So there are steps of using the document itself, but that's called leader guide. And sometimes you will have the trainer uh, guide, which is we have the student material and the trainer material, and that's called again a leader guide to tell you how to teach and how to. Trust me, it's very important, especially if you are giving a long training session. So you should have this guide where what I will do in this activity, what I will do next, what what is the next slide? I'm giving a. a uh, training for first aid and CPR, and I'm always opening my leader guide in front of me to guide me what is next, because there is a lot of activities and there is a lot of slides. I have to remember what I should do next. Of course, the participants workbook. And in the participants workbook, you have to put to inside a lot of information that you may say, or you may say, this is for your reading. You may say, you should read this later on, or I am putting this for your reading. As you can see in the document that I gave you, there is resources down where I'm putting the links for all the documents that I put above. This is to keep uh, people, if they want to read more, they can find, or also to keep uh, what we said, uh, what, we are, uh, what we used to say, it's uh, a reference for what I'm saying up. Pre and post assessment, of course, and this we will speak about them later on. I think uh, Raymond will speak about them. And don't forget the training satisfaction survey they should fill this training satisfaction survey at the end of each session. Okay? Uh, I will tell you later, uh, Ray. This is what I'm saying, the logistics. So the logistics, including refreshments. Najwa, tell me what logistics we should have also. 
Najwa. Yep. <laughs> One minute. Uh, yeah. So logistics. Yes. Mm. Projector. Maybe. Yes. Yep. Cards, um, activity tools. The classroom, the tables, the chairs. Yes. Continue, continue. <laughs> well done, Major. Thank you. Thank you. There's something where sometimes we miss to put the name tags. It's very helpful for the trainers because if you miss the name at least you will find the name of the trainee in front of you and trust me calling the trainee with his name makes a lot of difference what and if, thanks god what if you don't have the name tag what you will do i will try to revise the names as much as i can by repeating the name for each one at least once or twice. Yeah, usually, usually in the name tags when we don't. Ah, have you mean to... as a game? Yeah, no. I can ask them to have a paper in front of them okay. and write their names and then okay. flip okay. the paper and put it in front of them. Absolutely. I did this twice. Absolutely. That will make a uh, difference if we don't have the metal one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and handouts, of course, and certificates for completion. This is the logistics. Don't miss them and don't forget them. Do we have any question? Please, let's keep in touch and keep in contact.